I'm Shelley Watts, I'm a boxer and I'm here at the AIS getting ready for Rio. I think the AIS feels a little bit like home for me, you know, I, I've been here for the past almost two years now. Leading into the Commonwealth Games we, prep, we prepped here, we did 10 weeks solid here and then after that I made the decision that I wanted to come back here and, and train with the national head coach and as well to be able to take advantage of these amazing facilities. So like I said, this, is, this feels like home to me so I definitely think that being here at the AIS is where, where I needed to be to take that next step and I'm really, really glad that I was able to do it. I don't think that you should go to the Olympic Games just to go to the Olympic Games, you know, like the opportunity to be able to, to fight for your country and to fight for everyone that's helped you get there and try to get that gold medal, you know, that excites me, you know, it tingles, it tingles me when I think about it. So I'm definitely chasing that gold. It's going to be hard, you know, but I'm willing to work hard. <laughs> having the dais and having the backing and support of the AIS and the ASC means that we can have this as our lifestyle. We can live and breathe boxing and um, it's definitely the reason why I've qualified for Rio for sure. Hi, my name is Safwan Khalil and I'll be competing at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games in Taekwondo. The makeup of the Australian team is the two females that only got to qualify were my partner, Carmen, and her sister, and my close companion, Hayder, who is my training partner, also qualified for the other men's division, and my brother is the head coach, head Olympic coach, so yeah, it's a big family affair. Missing out in London, just finishing fourth. I've been thinking about it since that time and it's been my main drive, my main incentive to keep going and keep training and it's always in the back of my mind in my preparation. The AIS, for me personally, the influence it's had on me has been incredible. I absolutely love this place. The services, the facilities, the people, the support you get. This is one place anywhere I go around the world where I do feel like a full-time professional athlete. I rate this place as the number one place in the world for sure for training. My name is Miranda Giambelli. I'm 23 years old and I've been doing judo since I was eight. It's an honor. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Because I knew, like, since I lived all my life in Italy pretty much, I always had the dream about Australia. Like, every time I saw the Opera House, I was like, oh, I was born there, but I've never been there. And now I'm able to live here. I'm able to train here and represent Australia, like, at the Olympic Games. It's the best dream, like, ever. The environment, like I like it 10 times better than how it was in Italy. So I'll do it like 100 times again. My name is Target Iliasso. I am a freestyle wrestler representing Australia. 2004, um, uh, after qualification, I had a, a very hard training sessions and, uh, and I injured my back. And then I had to withdraw from the Olympic Games. I've been dreaming when I, since when I was a kid to be in Olympic Games, to, to wear Olympic uniforms and being close in 2004 and then missed out on that. But now I'm getting to my dreams.